So we're here with Jay Sean. So how has Marley influenced you as a musician? I mean, Bob Marley for me, man. I mean, he, he was one of the most prolific songwriters that ever ever lived, you know. Um, and because I write all my own music, for me, I just think when you look up to people like Bob Marley, he talks about no, not just love, not just, you know, enjoying life and, and partying. The guy was talking about stuff which was affecting the world. He was talking about deeper issues, politics and stuff like that. The guy was incredible. Now, he was really big on doing, you know, charity work and doing different stuff like that. He has a foundation now. I know you teamed up with someone to, to fight hunger. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's called Child Hunger Ends Here. And um, it was a campaign that we did with Conagra Foods. It's absolutely incredible. We, there was a song called um, Here's Hope. And there were three artists, myself, Al City and Jewel, who all put our own spin on it. And uh, when you go out there and you're buying food from the supermarket, you can go down, redeem your points and, you know, you can, you can download the song and the money goes towards feeding uh, kids here in America who are starving. So it's an amazing cause. Jake, can you talk about your own cash money now and what your project's going to look like that you're going to have coming out with them? Well, actually, this is going to be my second album with Cash Money. So my first album, All or Nothing in America, came out um, last year, year before, sorry, uh, with, with on Cash Money. This time round, it's, it's amazing for me because I've managed to go a bit more to my R&B roots, and America didn't know that side of me because I had three albums out before this where it was a lot more that way, leaning. And I just feel like on this album, I wanted to give America something, as well as all the pop dance stuff that they enjoy from me. They ain't heard my other stuff, and that's what this album is going to be about too. They will make Tiger just came out. I feel like you know they've been dropping them, and everybody's been doing so well. Right. Talk about just like his album and how much success he's having right now. I love Tiger's album, and it's funny that you say that because one of the um, videos that's going to be coming out within the next, I'd say, week or so, is uh, a, sing a song that I've got out with Tiger called "Sex 101." We did we shot the video for that a couple of weeks ago, so that's coming out. So I look forward to that one. So you're teaching the ladies how to, you know? Yes, of course. <laughs> it's a be beginner's guide for people, who, um, for virgins out there who need to understand how you do it, this is my song, Sex 101. And then lastly, is there any collabs that we can expect on the album that we might not yeah, expect? I'm going to keep quiet about those, man, because they're, they're, they're pretty special ones. And I didn't get to ask you, sorry about Marley, just what brought you out, and how much had he influenced you as an artist? Hugely. I mean, as I said, as a songwriter myself, because I write all my own songs, I look up to the greatest people like him, and what he managed to do is he wrote about very, very serious and deep issues, but in such a beautiful way that you're singing it, you don't even realize what beautiful message you're actually singing. So it was incredible. And you're holding it down for South Asians on the charts. There's not a lot out there. What, what do you want to, why do you think that is? Why do you think there's not more like you? I mean, I'm sure there are. They just haven't been discovered. You know? In the U.S., I'm man. I'm looking out for them. I know. I'm looking out for them. All right. You got, you got to help them bring them up. Bring for real. Up. Definitely. There's a lot of us talented people out there. Trust me. All right. Well, thank you so much. Man. Thank you.